Good day, folks. Today's episode, I am gonna be doing our first project with the bus in a shop. Um, the shop is awesome. The bus is fully in here. Tools are all out, materials are all out next to the bus. This is an awesome work area. I'm very happy to be here. So our project for the day is gonna be our composting toilet. Seems to be the easiest for me, especially to start with. I don't have to run much plumbing or anything. So I'm gonna put a wall up, I'm gonna build the toilet, I'm gonna put the uh, Johnny compost system down in there. So now that we got our walls up, I've got my bucket cut out here. So I'm gonna make a little box for it all to fit in real nicely. Get the toilet seat on there. We are building our own because it's cheaper. If you have done any research on a composting toilet, you know that a few different brands make them and they were all about a thousand bucks or over. Now that's way too expensive. So Johnny Compost, you can find them on Etsy and maybe eBay. They are 3D printed, I believe out of recycled material. This is $120, $130 for the kit. And this is the big kit, the XL urine diverter. $130 plus, you know, some wood, it's much cheaper than $1,200. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me cheap. You can say I'm lazy. You can say I'm weak. You think that using her would get to me. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. You're in trouble, D. But when it comes to her, you better keep it sealed. Don't you dare say a single word, or I will strike you where it feels. You think that using her would get to me, and if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. my electrical panel all cleaned up and better organized I got this toilet hooked up while I was back there so now we have a nice little switch Amber wants me to show you how it works real quick so we're gonna go ahead <laughs> I put a switch and I actually reused a bus switch so come check it out so my switch is here I don't know if you can hear it it's very quiet but this is uh, one of the old toggle switches from the dash so We'll have it on and off setting, and then uh, I haven't routed it yet, but this will be routed down underneath, and uh, that's our toilet. Please like this video if you have found it helpful. The last step to make this toilet functional will need to be connecting it to gray water, which we will do in the next video. 
Thanks for watching and please subscribe so we can see you in the next one.